You can't urge people to adopt violence. Violent demonstrations as the way of life or the way of solving grievances. No. The Mawarides, I, I don't even know you. Mawarides and, and those who believe in that way of living in our country, well, are not part of us. They are not part of us in thinking. They are not part of us as we try to live together. If they don't like to live with us, let them go to those who are sponsoring them. To the countries of those who are sponsoring them, fine. I don't need anybody to come to me and tell me that I'm hungry or to tell me that the education system is not working. I see it every day. It's a life I live every day. I had a wonderful stay. All my business is done and looking forward to coming back home to be, you know. We are in a season where fear is being broken. We're scaling the wall of fear in a very big way in Zimbabwe. The goal of this campaign, of this flag campaign, was to raise more and more Zimbabweans to not be afraid anymore and to spread that message, allow it to catch on like a virus. Where this goes is a place that, first of all, has got no return. What we have become as Zimbabweans now cannot be changed. It can never be changed. We've turned a corner and become a new people, and we're becoming a new people who are more expressive, who are not afraid anymore. And I think it's fair to say that it's not so much the movement I'm prepared to go to jail for, but it's the future of my children that I'm prepared to go to jail for. Because that, this is what this is all about. It's not about toppling a government. It's not about a subversive uh, movement or anything. It's about one man crying for a future for his children. It's about thousands of Zimbabweans all saying, we, we can do better, we need to do better, enough is enough.